Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms. I'm Dan. Guys, my head is spinning from all the new content that Lucasfilm and Disney has just announced following Disney's Investor Days. There is so much to talk about as more news will likely drop in the coming days, weeks, and months, but I wanted to at least talk about what's been announced and what I'm excited for. Let's start with one of the announcements I'm most excited for, which is Ahsoka, a new Disney Plus series starring Rosario Dawson that will be set within the timeline of The Mandalorian. Ahsoka is my freaking homegirl, so I'm so so damn excited about this. We've been getting rumors for quite some time of an Ahsoka series and I'm so happy this is official. Presumably, Ahsoka will be searching for Grand Admiral Thrawn and possibly Ezra Bridger. No release date as of yet, but let's hope for 2022. Another series taking place during the Mandalorian timeline will be Rangers of the New Republic. This will also be a Disney Plus series and I have to imagine we'll be seeing characters such as Trapper Wolf and Carson Teva. Will we see characters crossing over between the Mandalorian, Ahsoka, and Rangers of the New Republic, I think that's a very strong possibility and would be awesome. No release date for this as of yet. Now, the announcement that I'm super, super excited for is the Disney Plus series The Acolyte, which is a mystery thriller that will take place during the final days of the High Republic era and will delve into a world of shadowy secrets and emerging dark side powers. Yo, how dope does that sound? I'm dying to explore the High Republic and I can't believe there's going to be a series taking place during that part of the canon timeline. Leslie Headland will be developing the series. She's worked on Russian Doll, which is fantastic, so I'm really excited about this announcement. Not sure when this will be released, but let's hope also 2022. Next up is a Lando series that is in the early stages of development, so we've got some time before this is released. Justin Simeon, who's most notably known for Dear White People, is developing the project, and I have to imagine Donald Glover and Alden Ehrenreich are going to return to reprise their roles as Lando and Han, respectively. Continuing on, we've got Star Wars Visions, an original series of animated short films which will be celebrating the Star Wars galaxy through the lens of the world's best Japanese anime creators. This will be released in 2021 on Disney+, Plus, and as someone that enjoys anime, I am pretty damn excited about this. Not sure what sorts of stories or characters the series will explore, but I'm excited and intrigued. We're also getting a new film titled A Droid Story, which will introduce fans to a new hero guided by our homies R2-D2 and C-3PO. Not sure when this will be taking place in the canon timeline, but this sounds like it could be a lot of fun and I can't wait to learn more about this new hero. It was also announced that a brand new film will be developed by Taika Waititi, which I'm so excited about. I'm a big fan of his film, so this is awesome news. No info was released on the story he's developing or when the film is set to come out, but I'm sure we'll learn more of that soon enough. High Republic film, maybe? That'd be so awesome. Another film that was announced is Rogue Squadron, which will be directed by Patty Jenkins, who directed Wonder Woman 1984. This is pretty exciting news and I can't wait to learn more about this film. Rogue Squadron sounds dope. We also got a scissor reel for the Cassian Andor series titled Andor that'll be released on Disney Plus in 2022, which looks so goddamn dope, as well as a trailer for The Bad Batch, which is coming to Disney Plus in 2021, and I'm hoping it'll be released in the spring. Lastly, it was announced that Hayden Christensen will be reprising his role as Darth Vader, and the series series will be taking place 10 years after the events of Revenge of the Sith, which hell yeah brother. Guys, my head nearly exploded from all of these announcements and I'm sure I'll be making videos in the coming days and weeks to discuss and dissect these announcements. For now, let's just revel in the fact that this is the greatest time to be alive and be a Star Wars fan. I am so happy, excited, and thankful for all of these new series and films that were announced and I hope you are as well. But what do you guys think? think. Is your mind ready to explode from these announcements as much as mine? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button, making sure you subscribe, and as always, stay nerdy.